Aha, good morning trail trekkers. Right, I'm out for a little walk today because the sun is out and although it is in uh, autumn now, um, it's starting to get colder. It's about sort of four to 10 Celsius today, so not particularly warm. I thought I'll go for a little walk. And one of the reasons I wanted to go for a walk is because well, obviously, you know, I like people to go out and have a walk and things like that. But apart from that, apart from encouraging people to get out, I think that people automatically assume that if you want to go for a nice walk and see nice things, you've got to go miles, right? Get in the car, 200 miles later, right? We're in the, the highlands or something like that. You don't always have to do that. And a lot of the time you're missing out places near where you live. So just as a, a classic example of that, I'm in a place called Oosburn, which is basically, I can walk into the city centre from here in Newcastle. In fact, you can see on the map that I've got up here, um, it's not, it's, I mean, this area is obviously uh, where people live, but you've got the, the big city surrounding you. Um, so you would think, well, it'll be absolutely bloody awful because big cities are horrible, inhospitable, inhuman places, you know, utilitarian architecture and things like that. They can be, yes, but I think um, in this area, I know a few little cheeky bits where you can get away from the street and get somewhere nice. So I'm just going to go for a quick walk today. It's not, not one of my usual epic, you know, um, Herculean efforts where I do, you know, four or five hours and all that. I'm just going to go for a quick walk. I just wanted to see in the city if you can go somewhere nice where you can see the leaves change in colour. Because obviously they're changing colour and they're dropping this time of year. Um, you know, the, the amount of light per day is dropping due to, uh, I mean, I'm, I live in the Northern Hemisphere, so obviously less light is reaching the Northern Hemisphere as the Earth tilts away from the sun as it rotates. So less light, less energy for the trees. The trees just say, right, bugger, I give up, drop all the leaves and jobs are good. Um, unless it's a, an evergreen. So I'm going to go out and have a little walk about. Um, not very windy today, but it is cold, so I'm going to make it uh, quick. I just want to see if there's any little, little spots. And if I spot any history on the way, I'll make a note of it on the screen there. But just a, it's about relaxation today, because I think people need a bit of relaxation these days. Anyway, enough of me waffling, I'm going to get away. So goodbye.
Right, I'm going to pop up a little bit. You see this bridge here? Rather than go underneath, I'm going to go over the top. And just up to the right is a secret tunnel. It'll probably not be open today, but I'll go in and have a look if I can. Um, but it's a couple of miles long if you can get in, but uh, we'll see. So let's head up the stairs a little bit. going to show you in that tunnel there but uh, it's closed due to the current uh, flu panic or whatever it is this week and um, so I've come a little bit away along towards the river I'll actually show you that pub up there you see that pub in the distance that's I think it's called the free trade inn or it used to be anyway it's got a brilliant view if you're ever after a, a cheeky cheap pint it's a place to come because uh, it's got a nice view of the town but I'll show you that so we'll, we'll work our way along there and um, I'll cut off cut this short because there's people making a noise
Right. Well, this is about as far as I'm going to go. I've come all the way along past St. Peter's Basin in a beautiful area. Um, hardly anyone around. I saw one guy with his dog and a guy on a bike. So a beautiful area. It's got that smell of woodland. And obviously that's exasperated this time of year because of the lovely dry leaves. There's a beech leaf there. Lovely and crispy. Um, so um, I've seen some little bridges and stuff. I'm going to continue along another five minutes and then I'm going to head back. So there will not be that many shots on the way back unless I spot something interesting. But I've had a lovely time. Oosburn was fantastic. Form was close, but never mind. Um, so I'm loving it. You may or may not be able to hear me that well because on the opposite side of the River Tyne behind me here, um, there's a lot of uh, machinery works going on. It's actually over there is an old paint factory. And down the bottom, if I can find them, there used to be a load of signs saying, warning, if you catch any fish here, chuck them back because they've got a load of lead in. Because they used to put lead into, uh, I was going to say into pencils. <laughs> They put lead into paint and they used to manufacture it down into like a white powder for whatever reason. I don't know whether that's how it was maybe the only way they could lighten paint. I don't know with that pigment, but I think they use um, titanium oxide or something like that now. But so I apologize if you can't hear, but I'm going to head back. Um, it's been a couple of hours now. I've been walking beautiful. I've seen a gray squirrel, a wren, um, fish jumping, all sorts of birds, robins, beautiful. And like I say, nobody's out so. If you're watching this get yourself out all these places you can walk for hours and it's free um, but that, that's just what I that would be my opinion but I'm off anyway because the day is getting long and like I say this time of year you don't get a lot of light so I'm off
right i'm back right so let's quickly discuss what i've done because i'm a bit tired i've got uh, i'm thirsty put it that way and um, so i'll make it quick so started in the Oosburn area which is near sort of you can walk into the center of newcastle basically um, and then i've i walked down into the they call it the ooze valley really the Oosburn valley but it's not really much of a valley although it is a bowl like we'll call it so went into there beautiful all of autumn leaves were there and loads of little walkways and stuff i just stuck to the main path so and then i saw all the bridges you had the biker bridge and then the, the amazing sort of um, concrete construction used for the metro and then you had the biker bridge rural, rail bridge and all sort of that but I, I, i'll have i'll have mentioned those in the video so you know what they are then i saw the um the use burn farm although that's all closed off this time of year and then I walked along the river and then I saw seven stories, which is a, a large building for children, really, um, to, to read and things like that. And then you come out into um, the mouth of the, into the Tyne, basically. Um, and then you, you can see the River Tyne stretching to the east and the west. So I went east um, towards the coast along Hadrian's Way, which is an old Roman thing. Um, I mean, you can, you can almost span the entire country going along that. Um, so I walked along there. It's beautiful again. Dead quiet, hardly anyone around. I saw a guy on a bike and some guy with his dog there doing whatever he was doing. Beautiful, I really enjoyed it. Even the smell it was it was like a forest, so I really enjoyed that. So I got out, the dappled sunshine coming through the, the autumn leaves there, beautiful. Um, and then when I got along, further and further along, I got along to uh, Walker. And then I came back along the main walkway, which ends up terminating at about uh, the biker wall area. And then I went back down into the Ewes and then up into the top of the Ewes bin area. So I really liked it. So I'm gonna give it a marks out of 10 if you wanted to do this. I'll give it a, distance wise, the, the world's your oyster. You can just keep going and go. You can keep going all the way to North Shields if you wanted. It's like 10 miles down the, down the road. But if you really wanted to, you could. Um, so distance wise, brilliant you can just keep walking and walking and walking probably better for a bike if you want to go all the way to the coast um i'll put up here how, how far i did because um i'll have a look after i filmed this so that's how far i did e on a brilliant um so i really enjoyed that so if you're watching this and you enjoyed it and you thought oh it's a little bit of history there and there's places to go for a walk do it yourself get out do it yourself um and rather than me saying oh i want to subscribe and i want to like oh scrounge 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 no what i want you to do is i want you to go out and have a walk and share that with your friends and family your walk not mine i'm not i'm not after anything here and just try and encourage them to go for a walk get the nice fresh air see the birds and the trees and nice nice things like that so anyway i, I quite enjoyed it i'll give it a seven out of ten um because there's a lot of places um industrially places it's it's not a, a nature walk um, although there was a lot of nature there um, it was a good, I saw some sheep actually, but they, they ran off, so I didn't get any footage of that. Saw so grey squirrel, wrens, um, moor hens, uh, mallards, different types of ducks, waterfowl, swans in the distance there, all sorts of things. A uh, rat, I saw a little rat running around as well, which was interesting. So I hope you enjoyed that, so I'm off. And like I say, if there's one thing you can do old trail trek, be nice to each other and share something nice with your friends and family. You don't have to share this. I'm not after anything. I never scrounge for likes and I never scrounge for subscriptions, okay? So have a nice day and thank you for joining me. Goodbye.